In this video, we're going over the greatest common factor, often referred to as the GCF. And a factor is just a, a whole number times another whole number that gives you the product you're looking for. So let's look at the number 12. What are the factors of 12? Well, there are many ways to list this out. I, I like this method. I call it the double rainbow method. That's right. Named after the YouTube video. Because, well, why? Well, because it's fun to call it that, but also um, we're going to connect factor pairs with colorful rainbow stripes. <laughs> so first of all, 12 is, is just 1 times 12. So notice what I do here. I don't put 1 and 12 next to each other. I spread these numbers out. Those are our outer bounds of our factor pairs. So I'll give that a green stripe. So I know that the next factors I'm going to try have to be between... 1 and 12, and the reason I do all of this is because it helps me not miss any factors. And next, is I ask, well, I tried 1, what about 2? And yes, 2 times 6 is 12. Now, because I keep all right, narrowing our factor branches, I don't need to try 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11, all right, because I know there's no whole number that will pair up with it. I'm narrowing it down each time. Does 3 go into 12? Well, yes, 3 times 4 is 12. And there I'm done with my rainbow. Because, here this is actually a triple rainbow, right? Because we have three factor pairs that make 12, and 3 and 4 are two consecutive whole numbers. They're right next to each other, so that I know that there are no other factor pairs to try. And this method helps me make sure I'm listing out all the factors for a number. And here for 12, 16, and 20, I'm trying to find the greatest factor they all have in common. And, um, I, I could do this for each number, which I think I might do, or I could use a multiple choice. Well, I, I'll keep using my double rainbow method because I think it's so important. Um, 16, well, 1 and 16 are my outer bounds, and then 2 is next. 2 times 8 works, 3 does not go into 16, and then 4. We know we're done because 4 squared is, is 16. We connect our rainbow stripes, I'll pick different colors here, and then this is just all by itself, 4, oops, different color. And then one more to go. This time we're dealing with the number 20. Last one. 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. Right? We're just going to narrow these down. Oops. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 doesn't go into 20, but 4 times 5 is 20. And now I know I'm done because I have those two consecutive whole numbers right in a row. So we got all these rainbows here. And no, you don't need to draw rainbows, but I do suggest um, drawing the pairs as different extremes in your factor list. Now, all you have to do at this point is find out the number they have, in, the greatest number they have in common. And notice they all have four. There's a four and a four and a four, so two can't be it. Now, the, the other choices they gave us are six and twelve. Well, six does not go into sixteen, and twelve does not go into sixteen. So the answer here is four. Four is the largest factor that these three numbers have in common. 